Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So this is the Radio Master Zorro with the internal 4-in-1 module. On the back here, we have the Happy Model ES24TX Slim Pro. So the external module is a little bit more of a power-hungry module than what's on the internal module. So I'm going to do an amp draw. We're going to grab our meter. We're going to do an amp draw of the radio without any modules turned on. We're going to turn on the 4-in-1 internal module. We're going to turn on the external module after that. And we're going to check different power supplies with the fan on. Kind of get an idea of what the amp draw of the radio is without the receiver uh, communicating, of course. Uh, just to kind of see, is it really that significant? Is it really that big of a difference? So should be a really interesting video. So stay tuned. Before we get started here, let's go ahead and go through things before we get into the amp draw itself. Uh, what is the scenario? How are things being powered? Uh, I do not have 18 350 uh, barrel batteries in here, so my battery compartments are empty. I have this external cable that you can purchase for like three or four dollars, has an XT30 on the end. And I kind of I recommend it. I think it's a really neat thing. So you have these uh, JST plug that goes right into the back of the radio here. You can see just fits right in here. And then this plastic body that they supply with the uh, external cable and strain relief. Uh, the strain relief is really nicely designed. It fits really well. It locks right in. It, I don't have any issues in my mind of this thing popping out or falling off. But this back part here where the cable goes through, if you can see that or not, it fits down on there in such a way that this the body of this connector butts up against it. So there's no way that you can pull this cable out while you're flying. So that clips down in there. This won't fall out. It's 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 kind of tension is holding it in there. And then on the back here, you can see this has it ain't coming out. Okay, so if you get this snagged on something, it's going to yank your radio with it. So that's pretty nice. I really like the design of that. And then having the XT30 on the end makes it really easy for me because I power everything from a 5200 ma pack uh, this is my goggle battery um, i do a lot of dvr and fly days can last all day long and there's nothing more annoying than having your fat sharks beeping at you because the battery's going to die and I, they don't give you much warning when that thing starts beeping it's going to die really quick uh, i don't have that issue i can run this all day and not have any issues at all it's super fast and easy to charge back up so i've been using this for quite quite a while a few years um, so we can plug this right into the radio. That's going to be great. I actually made myself this sweet little adapter. So I can plug this into the LiPo. And then I can plug my goggles in here. And then I can plug in my radio here. And have my pack sitting on the edge of my chair. Hang my stuff on the handle. Whatever the case may be. Uh, so this is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, for, this, for this tutorial, I'm just going to plug the radio directly into my harness. So I have a harness here that I've uh, designed and made for my radio or for my multimeter. And I'll try to remember to put a card up here of how to do an amp draw on individual components on your quadcopter. Like if you want to get an amp draw, what your VTX is consuming or LEDs are consuming, that sort of thing. Um, I've got a video on that. And I think in there I, I show how this harness is made. So we're going to go ahead and plug our uh, radio into the harness. So that's there. And then we'll plug in the other end of our harness to our LiPo battery. So now all the all the uh, electron flow is coming from this battery pack going through through our meter so it can gather an amp reading and into our radio. So in our radio, we'll go ahead and plug this. We've got everything plugged in. We'll go ahead and turn our meter over here to amp draw DC. So we have our amps and with the flat line, that's DC. Uh, this this multimeter is uh, going to choose either one. It's automatic. This multimeter is really nice. I like to have this one for the channel because it's like at the time when I got it, it was like $20 on Amazon and it's done a really good job. I don't have any affiliated links. I, sh I should probably have Patreon, affiliated link, all that other stuff. I, I don't at this time. Um, 
<laughs> the only thing I got is Venmo. So the amp draw is going to come through here automatically. So the voltage from the uh, battery is going to go in here and then over to our radio. So go ahead and power up our radio. Welcome to HTX. All right. And this is Oro model for tutorial reasons for me this model is like a dummy model i just kind of do everything on that model to kind of play around with settings so it's not an actual model that i'm flying with uh, so we can kind of mess with this model and, and and see what's going on so right now as the uh, radio sits let's go over here to our model and change some things if we need to all right so everything is off okay the internal and external module so the four in one module the uh, Happy Model Express ES24 TX Slim Pro is off. So the, the radio sitting just the way it is, is completely off. Okay. Um, the only thing we have is a little bit of movement to the screen. So a little processor speed, and then it goes back down to point one two one. And then if we change some things here, we get the processor working. So our, our radio... The way it is with this LED on, with the screen on, and with processing speed, we're looking at about 1.21 to 1.31, okay? So 120 milliamp uh, usage. So let's go ahead and turn on our internal module. So we'll go over here and we'll go to multi. Let's go over here. I mean, we're, I'm going to run the, the FR Sky. Um, for the multi module, as you know, on my channel, I'm I'm pretty committed to FR Sky in the past. I'm working on getting the ELRS stuff done, so we're at FR Sky. So right now, as the radio sits with the four in one module broadcasting FR Sky uh, through the multi protocol module that's in here, we're at 0 0.208. Okay, that's without making any other movements or stick movements. So 0.209. Eight, so 200 roughly milliamps so let's go ahead and click over to our model and page over here and turn off our internal module and we're going to go to our external module i think this is what everybody kind of wants to see what is the amp draw like really what's the power consumption of the external module so we go ahead and initiate that we're running 400 baud, uh, 400 k baud rate and 500 hertz or the 500 packets so that's kind of the what i'm going to be running on here i think a lot of people are going to be running on here so let's go ahead and page out of here we'll go in the system we'll go to our express lrs lewis script and we're going to go down here to tx power so don't look at this yet Okay, so 25 milliwatt output. So the external module uh, is outputting 25 milliwatt. You can see the LED is lit, so this thing is turned on. So 25 milliwatt, no fan, external module only, 0.38. So let's go ahead and bump up the power. We'll leave the fan off throughout this. So 50 milliwatt. All right, we're at 0 0.403, so 400 milliamps. Go ahead and jump it up to 100 milliwatt output. And you can see that very little, very little movements. I kind of tell you 50 and 100 seems to be the same. You can see right here, it didn't change much. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 250 milliwatt output. So now that we're a little over 500 milliamps. Let's go over to it and go 500. So 500 milliwatt output. We're at 0.59. So it looks like the external module is kind of outputting, outputting. It's kind of, looks like it's kind of stabilizing here at 0.58. Let's go ahead and take it up to 1,000. Wow, so we jumped all the way up to almost 7. Oh, we did. Okay, the fan kicked on. So we went from 680. So now the fan is kicked on. Uh, so we're going to say 680 milliamp. Now we're up to 0 0.752. So with the fan, everything kind of moving around. We'll just say 7.5. So 0 0.750. 750 milliamp. Out. 
So I don't know if we need to go into like the, you know, do I need to get paper out here and show the math of, of how long was it going to take to drain a, a 5.2 amp hour battery. And if you have the 18 350s and depending on the maw, you know, the milliamp hour of those, uh, you can kind of see how, how this with your fan on at a thousand milliwatt, it's going to drain it. I would say pretty, pretty quick. I'd have to do some math, but let's go ahead and drop this down to 250 milliwatt. And let's go ahead and drop this down to 250 milliwatt. So now this is kind of what the the Express LRS devs have kind of said. This is the sweet spot. If you if you're not sure what to do, this is kind of where it's just this best operational 250 milliwatt output, 250 um, milliwatt to turn the fan on. So we are at 0.56, roughly. 560 milliamp with a 250 milliwatt output of the radio so you can mathematically figure out how long is it going to take if this thing's consuming 0.565 uh, amps how long is it going to take to drain down those 18 350 batteries and that I think that's why a lot of people are putting a battery pack on the back here which I didn't want to do um, I don't want another battery here, another battery for my goggles, another battery for my monitor, another, I mean, trying to simplify my life here. So that's pretty interesting. We'll go ahead and shut everything off here and go back to square. So let's go return out of here. And we'll go ahead and jump in the model page over, scroll back up, and we'll go ahead and turn this off see the fan turned off pretty quick all right so we're back down to 0.12 so that's just the LED processor inside in the screen so I thought it was interesting to see how much power consumption is that is that external module over the internal module it's pretty interesting that this little dude here is kind of warm too I mean it's when when they say that that external module is a little power hungry it, it it truly is it truly is almost five times power hungry so keep that in mind hey I hope this video was helpful I hope it was informative uh, you know if it was give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hate it <laughs> man you give me a thumbs down it all works enjoy the breeze